Good afternoon, friends. I just want to share a few things that the Lord showed me this week. Before the hurricane came into Florida, that is Matthew, we were in deep prayer trying to hear what God had to say. We knew that it was going to come close, but we also knew we were going to be protected. But as we were praying, God said, prepare, prepare, prepare. But he also said to me that he had to show me a vision. And I saw a vision of a very, very large sheet. The sheet was held by four angels on the four corners of the United States. They took the sheet and they were flipping it up in the air, up in the air, like a great, great shaking. And the Lord showed me there's going to be a great shaking from each corner to the other corner. Things are going to be coming down soon. The hurricane that hit was part of it. It went up from Florida up the coast. It destroyed a lot of things. There weren't the loss of life in Florida. There was a tremendous amount of prayer here. But look what's happened. This corner is being shaken. And God said in his word that shaking would begin in the church. It would begin in the church, people. And I'm saying to you that you need to get prepared. There's so many things happening right now that are distractions. There's so much political stuff going on. It makes you sick to your stomach. Yes, there's an election. But... It's a big distraction to keep us away from hearing what God would have to say. We need to get close to Him. We need to spend time in His Word. We need to draw by the Holy Spirit into that safety of being under the shadow of the Almighty. We need to take Psalm 91 to heart. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's not an occasional visit that's going to get us through with what's going to come on. It's a permanent dwelling. We have to reside there. We have to stay there. This is not an amber alert I'm giving you. God has been warning this nation for a long time that things were going to come. But yet the church has been in a state of sleepiness. They're content with what's going on. The church on a whole has become a social gospel. There's no repentance. And what's going on all over our country right now, there's race riots, there's this life matters, there's that life matters. And I'm here to tell you, folks, all lives matter. They all matter to Jesus Christ. What are you doing to make a difference? Are you sharing your love of God with people that you don't know? It's such a simple thing to just ask people if they need prayer. That would open the door for other people to come into the kingdom. We need to be about our Father's business. We need to get our minds off of what's going on. All these little distractions that are coming. Right now, there's been an alert in California. They expect a major earthquake out there. We talked to our daughter recently, and she said the state has put them on an alert. They're expecting major calamity out there. I'm telling you again that shaking is coming. What is it in your life that you need to get right with God? What is it in your life that needs to change so that you'll be pleasing to God, that you can stand before Him and He would say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Some of you may not be able to get out of your house, but you can make phone calls. You can get on your knees and pray. You can send letters. You can do so much. And you think, Me? Yes, you. Little old you. Just like little old me. I don't pastor a great big church, but I'm here to tell you we have a voice on the Internet as long as we have that freedom. Get your voice out there. Share with people. Get prayer meetings going. Pray for things to change. Judgment's coming. It's too late. It's going to come to our country. We have not repented. I'm putting you in remembrance of Israel. Israel was warned and warned and warned after prophet after prophet. Even Jesus himself said that many came and they killed them. And then they, the owner came and they killed him too. They didn't want to hear it. And that's the state that our nation is in now. But if you talk to one person and that one person gets their heart right with God, you have made a difference. What about you? 
What is it in your life that you need to withdraw from? What is it that you're pursuing other than God? I'm here to tell you today, let go of all those things. Get into that secret place with the Most High. Hear His voice. Listen to His word when He speaks to you. And be quick to make change. Don't be caught with what's going to come down without having spent time with the Lord. When this hurricane came, I was confident we were going to be okay. We prepared for it where I live. We had food stocked up, and we had other things stocked up. But we hardly got any rain. It didn't even come into this area. Prayer makes a difference. Preparation. Are you prepared for what's to come? You can make a difference. That vision of the sheet is about to come. I'm telling you, the shaking is here. Many that are in pulpits will come down because they're not following God's way. There will be much shaking in the pulpits. There's going to be much shaking. The church's Laodicea has to cease. It is not a feel-good message that's going to get us through. It's a message that pierces into our hearts and said, That's me. I need to change. That's me. I need to do something for Jesus Christ. So I'm here to tell you today, keep on listening to Holy Spirit and do what He has to say and stay safe. Be blessed, my friends. In Jesus' name, amen.